I've been a patient all my life. It manifested as autoimmune disease, which has taken different uh, shapes and form uh, throughout my life. Growing up, I had psoriasis. Now I have psoriatic arthritis, which is an evolution from a dermatological condition to a rheumatological condition. I had uh, dry patches and uh, scabs in many parts of my body. I never wanted to show my body. And the thing that I struggled the most were, in all honesty, the, the hands. Like every morning, the first thing I'll do is uh, I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, I'll check my hands. I'll like, what's the situation here? Like, is, it, is it back? At the same time, uh, growing up, uh, I knew I was gay since I was very, very young. You know, things were happening in parallel, right? So I had the disease, which was kind of making me feel different. I had this, these internal, very internal thoughts about uh, who I am as a person that was making me feel different. It's hard, first of all, you accepting who you are and, and thinking that others won't accept your disease or your core you. I felt I had a reason to hide. Growing up, I many times saw, saw myself as stained. That's what I had all over my body, by the way, right? It was stains. So my journey as a, as a patient tries to tackle all these things together because I, I didn't know how to separate them. And most probably, you don't need to separate them. They are who you are. Everything that happens to you is who you are. It's difficult to kind of stand up and say, hey, you know what, this really affects me. Uh, my disease affects me. It felt that I didn't have the right to have airtime on my disease. It's not a disease that you really talk about because you kind of feel there's so much worse Come out on, there. Come on. So. Come on, so my name is Henry. I'm married to, uh, to Eris. Like I had Hodgkin's, or I still have Hodgkin's. Being a patient and, and being in a relationship with another patient for sure connects us. I will always bury the disease with me. We've questioned ourselves, we've questioned what life looks like with these diseases. Knowing that your partner in life might get sick again is something you, you need to come to terms with. I will stick with you for, uh, for the rest of my life, or for the rest of your life. There's a place just around the corner where we go up on the mountainside and spend time with Pluto, and Pluto is the happiest dog in the world, and we just don't think about other things. We are strong together. We'll try to take whatever comes our way. Every experience with a disease for every individual person is different, especially in diseases that, as I myself thought, was not an important disease. It's important to advocate. I work for a pharmaceutical company, and it's one of the reasons that drove me to join this, this world, the, uh, the ability to make a difference for, for the lives of patients. And it's very interesting when, when you're one of those patients. I, I think in life, the sooner you realize that your history and the things that you go through only make you stronger and define who you are, the quicker you can start using those experiences to help others. I hope that by people seeing, seeing me open up about who I am, helps in the situation where when I was a younger kid or when I was uh, growing up through the ranks of different companies, I couldn't identify necessarily with the people that I, that I saw around me because I was like, oh, but look, they're perfect. And, and, and that's not the truth. It's a journey and, and that's why I'm also embarking in this journey. It's a healing process, being able to, uh, to speak up and being part of a group of people that are willing to share my story.